Hello and welcome to Early Childhood Ireland's podcast. Our podcast features interviews and discussions on all issues relating to quality early learning and care with a range of speakers who are leaders in the areas that matter to Early Childhood Ireland members. I'm Maura Corbett and I work with Early Childhood Ireland. In this episode, I'm delighted to be chatting with Melitza Atanaskovic, Research and Professional Learning Manager, about our upcoming awards and why we in Early Childhood Ireland see the awards as so important to recognise and reward quality. So, Melissa, you're really welcome. Hi, Amor. Thanks for having me. Um, yeah, so I suppose, you know, as an organisation, um, we really see the awards as a mechanism for members to share new pedagogical journeys, um, to highlight quality practice and, and really to learn from each other. So, you know, the awards are, are really about celebration, about showcasing, you know, our sector's ambition and really our commitment to continuously improve quality for, for children and their families. And, you know, the Pedagogical Leader Award is really about um, highlighting um, the leadership uh, that an individual uh, is bringing to a setting. Um, and you know, I suppose, like all the awards, not just the Pedagogical Leader Award, it's really about encouraging, you know, a shared dialogue between educators and an ongoing reflection. And, and we kind of really believe that by sharing these examples, by sharing and showcasing the leaders in our sector um, and the quality practice that's really happening in our sector, that uh, we're really, really highlighting um, the advantages that this has for children, for families, for educators themselves, and really the local local community. Yeah, it's it, it you know broadening it out from the pedagogical leader award to the the awards in general. There, you know, it, it, isn't it so important to um, help everybody to recognise quality? So you know that's uh, benefits parents, it benefits the the, the children. And also for the educators in in the settings themselves, that they know what, you know, what they're striving to provide. I think more also what's really important to to recognise is that, you know, as a sector, we really experience a lot of inadequate recognition, you know, Mm. and and often very little public understanding um, and especially little understanding of, the individual and and collective knowledge and skills of educators and and the role that they play in children's early learning and and development. And I suppose that really positive contribution that educators are are making to to children's lives. Um, So I suppose that's another real objective of the awards um, and of all the categories. It's it's really about, you know, highlighting that in terms of recognizing the work that's happening um, and, you know, highlighting that to, to families as well and to, the, to, the, to society. Um, and again, also that we would also hope that the entries kind of inspire others, um, inspire educators themselves to be reflecting on their practice and, and learning from, from other award winners. Um, you know, and I think that for us is really, really key and, and something that's really special about the awards that it, that it affords that opportunity um, not only for celebration but that recognition piece I think is really really key and and recognition and celebration is you know it's vital it's vital for everybody but I suppose in a sector where you know we sometimes feel um, uh, invisible despite mm. the value the importance to not just families to society as a whole. We saw that in the past couple of months, um, past year and a half with COVID, that um, you know, the impact settings not opening had on families. Um, so we still have a way to go in terms of kind of um full visibility of the value of the work we do, the importance of the work we do maybe is visible, but maybe the value isn't um value to children and families. So celebrating that is really important. Uh, it it is. And, you know, it's also about celebrating 
the values and the principles that run through the awards, you mm. know, and that's something that always really strikes us, you know, the, the image of the child, you know, the voice of the child, you know, there's, there's so many really, really important principles running through the awards around equality, around inclusion, around kindness. And what we really observe through the awards is educators really living their values you know so it's 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 also that piece of you know exactly what you're saying Maura that as a sector there needs to be far more value placed on the work that's happening and the impact that that has on young children but then what we see coming through so strongly through the awards is that educators are living their values you know bringing their philosophies bringing their vision for children you know and, and children's lives really to the fore and, and really constantly, you know, over the last 18 months, that's what we've been really inspired by ourselves, you know, and that's even just looping back to the Pedagogical Leader Award, Award, we've seen such incredible leadership. And that all comes back to the values that educators have around wanting to ensure that children are okay, wanting to ensure that families are okay, wanting to continue to strengthen the families in their communities and they've been so dedicated and committed to doing that through really innovative practice mm. real commitment that you know really shows that they are consistently going above and beyond um you know to make a difference to young children and, and it's quite you know we you know no more like yourself we often find the awards really quite emotional because you know it's such an example of the dedication that this sector shows um on a day-to-day basis and the last 18 months you know it's actually been so inspiring um and also just people just giving and giving and giving you know of their time of their love of their you know just giving to try to make sure that children are okay um and I think the awards is about us trying to give back trying to say you know what we see you and you're doing such amazing work that this needs to be seen and it needs to be valued and it needs to be highlighted because it's so important for society. Yeah, I, I, it, it really shows the fact, I, I, I've been struck, I suppose, particularly with the, um, the likes of partnership with parents. Yeah. That, you know, you hear sometimes, not, and not just in our sector, we've seen it maybe in nursing homes, maternity hospitals, there's a kind of a tendency, it's grand, now we're not dealing with families. Yeah. And yet we're seeing educators saying it's not grand when we're not dealing with families. And we need yeah. to find, like you said, the creative, innovative ways to stay connected, to stay engaged in the most difficult of circumstances to check in and make sure they're OK. And that's what I think has been so inspiring about the last year and a half. Yeah, absolutely. And, and I think as difficult as it has been, you know, it's because obviously, you know, we have a guiding curriculum framework like Asher that really places such emphasis on, you know, connections with families and the importance of, you know, um, I suppose, nurturing and ensuring that children are feeling safe and secure. So I think educators have been so conscious that this transition in, out, you know, transitions back, transitions through, you know, they're so cognizant of how for young children that that could be really overwhelming um, and have really, I think, in, in what has been really difficult circumstances and so many unknowns, you know, like it's been really difficult time when you you don't know what's coming next in terms of guidance, but they really kept at the heart of their practice. You know, what does Ashtra mean? It's about that journey. It's about that support and supporting, you know, and not just children, it's families as well as they mm. navigate through that and the challenges of, you know, being at home um, with children and, and trying to work, trying to do all those different things. And, and just to have that real awareness of the impact that that has and then supporting children then as they moved back into into the settings um in really such holistic and, and nurturing ways which I have no doubt has really um been of such benefit because they try not like so many settings really attempted to keep that connection going to try to minimize you know the effects and the impact that 
closures and in the earlier part of, um, you know, of COVID ha- have had. Yeah. Um, but, you know, it, it's, and I suppose that's the, that's what we would even say with the awards, you know, it's really about capturing a learning journey. Um, and the application process in itself is really providing a space for that reflection and, and that, I suppose, that affirmation of practice, you know, where it, it's really affirming that the work that our members are doing and, and the sector is doing, that it, it really is impactful. It is making a difference in the here and now. And, you know, I, you know, that's something that we sometimes forget when we're talking about children's future. You know, it's about now. It's about children in the here and now and what they need now and yeah. I think the sector has been so responsive to the here and now and, and children's needs and in that moment and, and that's really come through even this year in, in the applications in terms of the entries that we've seen um, and as I, I was saying before in, in relation to the leadership that we've seen and that's why it links so heavily to, to sort of highlighting that through the pedagogical leader award. So just before we before we wrap up, uh, Millie, have you something to say about the role the awards have in um, raising the profile and visibility of the sector to the community at large beyond the, the children and their families? Yeah, I suppose more as, as I said earlier on, you know, the awards are that opportunity to really highlight to families the work and the impact that early childhood education and care has on young children's lives, but also the impact it has on families and how it strengthens the families within our communities. Um, and in turn, you know, strengthening our wider communities. Um, and I think that, you know, you and you, you are absolutely captured it when you were saying that, you know, maybe it's been more, it's been recognized in relation to from a, economical econ- what's the yeah the kind of labor activation and labor it. activation that's the word labor activation perspective however it's it, it's actually so much more than that um and i think families realize now particularly that it's so much more than that um and you know and i think at its core the awards are about that it's about actually really showing that quality practice and an engagement in quality practice positively benefits children Um, and that in turn if we can really start to shift that narrative away from you know it's about labor market activation and actually it's about providing really quality experiences and opportunities for really young children and that is what makes the difference that's what you know, enriches a society. That's what enriches a community. Um, but I think we, that could be a really, really strong lesson from COVID and something that I would hope um, that we really, really learn from over the coming um, years and that that is shown in, in supporting our sector far more than it has been supported over the last number of years. Melissa, thanks a million for that chat. So uh, we're thanks really for looking me. forward to getting um, releasing uh, soon information about how the awards are going to be presented this this year because uh, unfortunately the impact of COVID is still kind of spreading its tentacles. So we'll, we've another while to wait before we can have a, a big bash in person celebration. But we've great plans. And, great plans, uh, Maura. It's going to be so exciting. <laughs> on how we're going to present the awards this year. So keep watching our social media channels and uh, we'll keep you posted. So thanks for joining us and talk to you soon. Mm-hmm.